Hey, what's up you guys? Today, it looks like it's about to rain. And I was gonna take a longer walk, but to be honest with you, I am really tired. Really, really, really tired. And tomorrow morning, I will go see the doctor again and check what this tiredness is all about. I don't want to push my body forward, but I have to produce endorphins, I guess, to get out of this rut. So I could have stayed home and rest, sleep, because it's all I feel like doing. I get up and half an hour later, I already am exhausted every day. And we got to check that because my heart pace is running slow. And I have this iron deficiency and God forbid I may have more issues that I don't know, but yeah. So I decided to take the shorter route, just an hour and a half. And I am really, really, really tired, but I guess I won't get any more tired you know, that I already am. So yeah, I have seen some let me show you, this is, so you can see this is not Lala Land, pocket knife. There were some weird people up the road. I don't like one bit. And it's that point that no matter if you keep your direction or not, uh, you're at the same distance. So I keep on going, but yeah. This is no no la la land and you have to be safe and if i could i would have a big dog but i am not allowed to and that would be very useful but you know and at this point yesterday i asked if someone somebody wanted to come along with me you will see it in the vlog but I was really exhausted. Today I'm equally as tired as I was yesterday. It's even hard for me to speak. You know, all I want to do is lay down and sleep and that's not normal, you know. I'm taking iron supplements and I somehow don't seem to be able, be able to pick myself up and I have never been this tired and the AD, depress uh, the AD medication antidepressants, however you want to call it. They say they don't work for me. They should pick me up if this was a depression. So maybe it's not a depression, maybe it's something hormonal. Something that's got to do with the heart or something because my moods are the same regardless of the medication and I am feeling like some kind of boiled lettuce, you know. I am really, really tight, so there's something and it's worrying. So my father was telling me, well, why don't you go yourself to the doctors? Well, I haven't taken the car for over the past three weeks outside of town because I fall asleep and I am really tired and no, no, I don't want to be driving. And that circumstance, I feel like, same time, trapped into my head, dizzy and slippy, and no, no, no. If it was mandatory, I guess I would make it, but I much prefer not to put myself at risk and other people at risk. So, you know, instead I go for a walk, walking. You cannot, I don't know. I mean, I maybe I uh, could I fall asleep walking? I don't know. Anyway, the guy thing, I think it's pretty much over. He's not trying to reach me at all. <laughs> and maybe I am too impatient, but I guess if he wanted to, he would have already can't try to contact me somehow 
so yeah lady danger <laughs> again I don't prepare myself to go for a walk like this but in the morning you know I fix myself and then I go for a walk and, and yeah it's like what do you know there's that so I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm going for a walk not only to lose weight that's that too I mean and get fit but I want to get healthy and there's all this hormones that you produce when you exercise and going for a hike is going outdoors so double check I go by myself yeah I don't communicate with people but people don't come along I have suggested it on Facebook you know and I have suggested it in person want to come along no answer so there's that I don't feel fit or strong enough for going to a activity at the gym still I should be feeling stronger you know not as tired and whatnot but yeah I am trying to escape my depression my anxiety that feeling that I have to be trapped in my head that I don't like because it's like a door closing on me you know where each and every day is getting narrower and I want it to get wider you know it's closing it's like getting trapped within yourself and I want to get freed from my mind you know be me again today I was at the bank this morning and I saw this girl who recently had a baby a month or so ago and she looks so peaceful and I felt so I don't know what's the word and I felt uneasy I think because I was I can still remember like a little spark in the dark from the times that before anxiety of course but even though from ever since I have gotten the anxiety 10 years ago uh, being able to do that and how every day goes by and it's getting harder for me and I was thinking to myself I would like to have this peace and I would not care to be tired you know sleepless nights and you know looking a little bit like a hot mess just having this peace and this strength to be able not only to take care of yourself and be good and feel good but being able to take care of another human being and I teared up because I think like that is being, being pulled away from me and I don't want that to be taken away from me so this is why I hike and hike and hike I wanna escape that dark tunnel and go back to the light I'm carrying this knife again because today is not the safest day ever so this is why I push myself harder you know because there is no absolute need to be pushing myself this hard if I didn't have the anxiety feeling this tired I would be home and wait for a better day but it's not I have to push my body because my mind needs the push I don't know if you know what I mean I even though my body is exhausted it needs to go an extra mile to keep up with my mind and maybe save myself from the fire pit so this is why I walk and walk and walk <sighs> yeah you know I want to be healthy again I want to be physically and mentally strong 
This woman today telling me she is 70, 71. She goes for a walk. I do 10 miles a day, 12. She does the same, then she goes to Aqua Gym, plus gym, plus another 5K walk at night. And me not being able to catch up with what I'm doing is, what the hell? You know, my father was like, well, she's healthy. You're not that much healthy, but I want to be again. You know, I'm done with this shit. And now it's a time where, as you can see, I have turned back. And there's this downside feeling when you're going back home. So going back to the road. Before. And where is the light? 